guys welcome back to my channel guys there's so much noise outside i closed all the windows hopefully you guys will not be able to hear it because i have a mic and then my mic fell and i'm trying to look for other mics but anyway i still i feel like since i came back in cameroon like a couple of weeks ago um i still haven't like you know i'm still not here like part of my brain is still somewhere <laughs> anyway so today's conversation you guys saw the title we're going to talk about that sensitive topic it's been a while since i wanted to talk about it i don't even know where to start but let me start somewhere because today i had a conversation um with somebody let me just say the truth i had a conversation with my mom okay it was just one conversation but that triggered you know this video right here but i've been meaning to talk to you guys about generational trauma when it comes to our african community and how all of us who are african we can know to a certain extent that we grew up with certain trauma that were never discussed never talked about it was always you know oh you don't talk about that because the society kind of normalize those behaviors and just miss your feelings right it doesn't matter how you feel um so that's the conversation that i wanted to have with you guys and kind of like share little things here and there that for me i'm still like wow we're still doing it today you know in, in today's society um when i grew up i had a couple of cousins of mine who lost their parents right and i remember thinking to myself ah, guys i was a child but i could still understand to a certain extent i mean i understand to a certain extent <laughs> what was going on and i remember those cousins of mine who lost their parents i felt bad for them because i had my parents everybody had their parents at least one parents you know for some people i had both of my parents living together they still live together they're still married and i remember looking at those cousins of mine and looking at how family you know certain members of the family were treating them and those were children you know we were not even 10 years old we were barely i mean i was barely 10 years old and they were younger than me they were not even 10 years old and the way they were being treated is as if they should be thankful or they should be i mean they were reminded some family members make sure to let them know to remind them all the time that if i'm doing this for you you should be happy you should be happy so if you violating me i should be happy because i don't have no parents you know at least i have you even though i'm living miserably with you even though i'm mistreated you know and those are conversations that i remember at the time i would always bring up conversations because i was an outspoken little girl okay like i would see something i would be like hey why is it that people are doing this thing is that like that's that is not fair and i remember bringing up those conversations whether it's my you know auntie being beaten up by her husband and things like that when i went on vacation and then i saw it and then i was like oh that ain't right you know those little cousins of mine grew up with that trauma of like family didn't like them didn't love them they were kind of like the afterthought you know now that they don't have parents people kind of mistreat them fast forward today they're in the 30s 40s they still feel the same way and that's where we, we have those abandonment issues right where you date a person or you are with people and then somebody you know dumped you or whatever and then the person feels like i've never been loved anyway you know and those people usually go for the bare minimum like they don't even have any high standards because according to the way they've lived their life from the time they were children people kind of saw them as a burden right and i had a conversation like that with one of those cousins that i'm telling you about and during that conversation everything just came back right from the way you know her parents left died um to how the family took care of them and how traumatic it was for her and i think there are so many things and we are taught you know to be tough you have to toughen up you know you're african you have to toughen up and unfortunately the same people who will treat you that way or they will treat you differently than they treat their own children you know the children we have the privilege of having a uh, breakfast a good breakfast and then sleeping having naps you know and things like that but you who have no parents that somebody kind of like adopted you you'll be mistreated just because you know you should be lucky that you even in this house in africa we don't do therapy i mean most of us we don't we don't do therapy and i think therapy is being talked more and more now and but we need a lot of people that i see out there need therapy like it's not even a joke it's not even a joke we've been normalizing certain things and saying that you know oh you're a woman you know even though your husband cheated on you or your husband does whatever at the end of the day i'm guys let me tell you this story so once upon a time right this um person i'm not going to say her name is telling a mother you know an auntie 
um this is what i'm going through my husband you know i've been kicked out of the house he's been abusing me he's been he's been he's been she's going through the list of things right and we were there sitting there you know and i'm feeling bad for her and i'm telling her take care of yourself you have to because you can't tell somebody dump the guy you know even because that's not your marriage like for me I, i've learned because i used to be that girl and i've learned to be like you know i will give you the advice that i need to give you but like because the people that you would say dump your guy you know dump your husband or whatever they will go back and you know make peace with their husband and they will tell the husband oh jenny even advised me such and such i'm not doing that no more okay i did that when i was in my 20s thinking i was doing the right thing for people but it didn't work okay so i remember um that girl uh we're having a conversation you know with family we're having a conversation and then she's going she's telling certain things you know how since she got married she's been going through this and that and then life hasn't been easy marriage hasn't been easy and she's really suffering and blah 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 she almost passed when you know there was a situation whatever anyway and i remember just mother just mother sitting among us telling her my daughter at least your husband is still coming home to you <laughs> your husband is still coming home to you you should be happy hmm? every man men are just men they're like that sometimes they get peace sometimes whatever like you should be happy he's coming home to you after and the funny thing is that she was crying she was saying all of this and she was crying and that's why even back then right you will see like women they will they will go you know they will get married whatever and then they will fight for their life in that marriage and then they'll go back to the parents the parents will be like nope we already paid i mean your husband already paid for diary so go back to your husband suffer because that's normal <sighs> Or sometimes they even tell you like <laughs> guys like i'm thinking about certain things that i don't want to overshare and i'm just like wow there was this incident of this couple cameroonian couple in the us right um the wife i mean he was the man was abusing the wife physically mentally and all of these things and she decided to divorce she didn't even report him to the police she just decided to divorce and the guy fought the divorce right she finally ended up divorcing the guy and she dated another man like two years later right because they had children together whatever so she kind of like started all all over again and dated another man and her ex-husband that Cameroonian man was so angry that she dated another man that he killed her and he killed himself I'm sitting there right in Cam I'm in Cameroon when I found out about that story that was maybe back in 2021 and i'm telling my parents because i had i mean i just got to my parents place and then i'm telling my parents oh this is what happened did you hear about this story whatever whatever you know what my dad like i love my dad and i don't want to stigmatize that dad's blah 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 because sometimes men just african men sometimes i'm looking at but i remember my dad said what did she do oh i lost it <laughs> Uh, oh my god my sister my sister is kind of like me like people always say oh she's a feminist whatever we just lost it i mean i think i lost it more than her she just looked at me like like we looked at each other and she just like she couldn't even say anything and she was just like i lost it i was like what do you somebody just died like the person just got murdered and the thing that you're asking is what did she do wow like oh wow <laughs> I need a break. So basically, um, that's really the conversation that I wanted to kind of like, you know, talk about without really going into the details. I need, there needs to be more conversation about how, you know, how trauma, generational trauma affected our parents. And now they kind of like transfer those trauma to us. And you always hear these things. And I don't think it's, it's like, it's not real but you always hear these things where let me just position you better i don't know if that's better guys anyway you always hear this thing where our parents are like oh when i was your age i did this i used to walk you know 10 kilometers every morning and you know like afternoon to go to school and come back home and all of these things and i'm always like i get it does it mean we have to do it too <laughs> like you see what i mean like i think our upbringing made us strong but this stigma that you know is like being strong equate being african like i just don't like it 
let me give you a little bit of example of a situation that happened recently this week or last week too of a little boy um of the family you know and the way he's being treated when he goes on vacation places and then he's told to you know get this broom you know wipe the floor the guy the boy six years old six years old right? and then when i'm having to say something right it's like oh you know it's because you you know you are you have been americanized when i was six years old i used to be happy to to clean the floor i used to be happy to do house chores and i'm like he's six years old expecting the six-year-old child to even feed himself like oh you know figure out what you're gonna eat today how why would you guys let me just come back to my senses there are little things like that just just irritates me and those are the same family members that we go abroad and see other you know family like nephews and nieces and of that age and really treat them with care treat them soft you know because those are european kids or those are american kids like those are the same people who will go to a different country you know mostly westernized countries and they will treat the kids of that same age as if they were just babies that shouldn't even make an effort blah 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 and i'm just like the way you will treat other kids from other countries please try to do the same thing here those are children universally children are children okay i'm not one of the people that will go for um, soft parenting right like you have to gentle they call it gentle parenting you know our generation today the way they parent children and stuff like that people are talking about it over and over again that we're not doing a good job you know like raising up kids, children educating them blah 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 we, there needs to be discipline i agree with a certain level of discipline but i also i'm i'm one of the people that will say let the kid be a kid right like if your upbringing because you from generational you know like that generation and when you were growing up at six years old you needed you know to go to the farm and farm your own food and fetch for your own food and things like that this generation it's not that it's a generation of social media of computers of this of that i'm not dismissing i'm not dismissing the fact that children are supposed to also learn they're supposed to be disciplined they're supposed to you know um how do you say that they're supposed to learn how to do certain things because that's how they will become independent you know fulfilled you know full people you know if you learn how to cook when you're younger you most likely when you're going to leave the house you're going to be cooking for yourself nobody is going to be you know like you're not going to need somebody to come to your place and cook for you so i understand that i just don't there's just that level of oh when you're in africa when you're in cameroon the way you would talk to a six-year-old child is so different than the way you would talk to that same six-year-old child elsewhere right because in africa we're supposed to be tough and just think of being tough that's why when you know in america for example because i live there too in america for example people will go like you know um the struggle of you know like the ride or die i'm looking for a ride or die you only hear those conversations or those statements in the black communities and you don't see that anywhere else you know i'm your ride or die i'm looking for a ride or die you know the struggle of you need to be struggling with me so that you know i will know you're going to be the wife but then when they get to the point where they don't struggle no more and then they have the money and all of this fame guess what they go for a different race and now there's this you know level of you know awareness that whether it's the black americans you know or the africans who are like why are we associated why is it that our skin color is associated with being tough with being you know like um rather or die or we being um i don't know whatever you want to call it you know like when it comes to doing the hard work like physical hard work or being mentally strong we expected it's expected from us to be that and even when one of us you know express the feelings of you know um anxiety depression all of these things you still hear people around saying please i beg we don't have this depression here in africa you know like why are you talking about you know what are you talking about like you hear that all the time and they just dismiss the person and next thing you know the person commits suicide or whatever and then they will say ah you know she was haunted you know um it's witchcraft something happened somebody killed her you know they did witchcraft on that girl that's why she killed herself no she's been talking she's been saying things but nobody was listening and i think we need to be listening more not to say we need to be softer not to say we need to be but i i'm also one of those people who don't believe that you need to build up a child in order for the child to be disciplined or to understand or to be smart or to be successful 
right? I have a school. You guys already know I have a school from children from three year old all the way to 12, 14 year old children. And guess what? You know, like nobody, I've talked about that several times on this channel, like some teachers who will come and then the policy, the school's policy say no whooping, you know, no violence against children, no whooping whatsoever. Let the parent discipline the child to a certain extent at home if they want to physically whoop them, but we're not going to do that at my school. And I've had to hire, I mean, not hire, I've had to fire teachers just because they wouldn't, you know, respect that. And I'm not, that's not even you know, a discussion that I'm going to have. This is prohibited in our school and nobody should attempt doing that to children, right? I don't think when you look at, you know, people who are the most successful or who had succeeded in life or who are good people, good, decent citizens, doesn't mean they were whooped or they were beaten up all the time or they were told. Let me talk about another thing. Um, Just colorism, okay? Whether it's in America, whether it's here in Africa, we have that. We have it. We have that. Okay. Where I know certain people, you know, in the family, whatever people that I grew up with that were darker, that had a darker complexion, skin complexion. And they were told many names, many names. And I think all over Africa, that's a conversation that we can have. And that's why sometimes when you see people like women from, for the most part, bleaching their skin and all of these things, it's because there is a name that's associated with being too dark. Right. And we have, and, and I think like, if you're from a different tribe, you know, you speak a different language dialect, then they will call you differently. And when you grow up, you are told you are not beautiful because you're too dark, you know, you're darkly dark. And next thing you know, the person starts bleaching their, their, their skin and it's called, oh, now look at her. She has beautified her. So look at the way, oh, she's now more pretty. Why? Because she's light skin. There are so many things that we carry, generational trauma. And we can talk about what the white men did to us in Africa, what this and that, but I'm not talking about that. We're not going there, okay? We go, we're talking about us, us. We're talking about what we're doing to each other in our society, how we're raising children, how we're dismissing, you know, how girls and boys feel, you know, if, if maybe there's a conflict in the house and then the child express how they feel about that conflict and how it makes them feel. Sometimes you see a child acting up, you know, the child doesn't want to do their homework. They don't want to be good at school just because there's so much going on at home. And when the, the child is not even allowed to say anything, and nobody explained to the children nothing, you know? And you see a lot of, you know, when parents split, you still see that because at my school, I've had parents of, you know, some of the children that enrolled that split it, and then they will argue, and then you will, both parents will show up to pick up the child, and then it will be a fight. I've experienced it many times, okay? All I wanted to talk about was that we need to stop, you know, like the cycle of generational trauma. And we need to be talking more of how we actually make us feel better. And I know this is just one conversation. There can be many layers of it. And as usual, people will tell me, why didn't you bring many people so that there can be like a panel discussion? Guys, you need to find people who will be okay showing up on camera. But for the time being, I'm going to be doing the conversation. And if you guys, maybe that could be a conversation to have with your own family. And, and I've even tried to talk to you know, whether it's my parents' generation, my aunties, my uncles, my own parents about certain things. And oof, maybe that will be another conversation for another day. If you guys want to hear more, let me know. I can go more into detail about certain things and how we can actually get into a better mental place to have those conversations and not normalize violence, not normalize, um, you know, mistreating children who have no parents or... Um, it's, it's just a lot. There's a lot when I'm thinking why not. There's a lot that I want to say, but that I cannot even share. But yeah, and my phone keeps on lighting up because people are calling and it's a silence mode. So I'm just going to leave you guys. Let me know what you think of the conversation of the topic. And if you have any advice um, for other people, how to handle the situation, how to kind of like break the cycle of, you know, that trauma, then put a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe many of you don't subscribe so subscribe i love you guys bye